Last year, many students differed on their CXE exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. If you have not yet like, share, or subscribe, it is definitely time to do so. Please be reminded to click that notification bell so as soon as we release a new video, you'll be among the first to know. Today, I'm looking at the Human and Social Biology January 2024 examination. Now, I'm looking at question number six. I would have done the others so you can find them on my YouTube channel if you have not yet signed for a class for september please be reminded you can sign with us for both biology and human and social biology all our classes are online we're required to differentiate between the terms pandemic and endemic if you are like me the first time i read this i actually saw pandemic and epidemic but that just shows that we need to pay careful attention to what we read. A pandemic refers to a disease outbreak that affects a wide geographic area. An example of such disease would have been things like AIDS and, of course, most recently, COVID-19. While a disease that is endemic, in this case, refers to a disease that is confined to a particular area, and it is usually not spreading. Now, it is much easier to be managed than a pandemic. Now, common examples of an endemic disease would have been common cold or malaria. The next task we have would be to define the following terms. Immunity. What immunity refers to is to display or to develop an organism being able to display or develop a resistance to a particular disease. So if you are enjoying immunity, then of course you displayed immunity or you would have developed an immunity to the particular disease for which you have the immun immunization. This is an action taken to make an individual or animal resistant to a particular infectious or pathogenic disease. Now, in a lot of cases, it is done by vaccination. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it was highly recommended that individuals be vaccinated to reduce the incidence of being COVID-19 positive. So just the type of immunity that was provided by the COVID-19 vaccine and explain how the vaccine provide immunity against COVID-19 virus. Now, the type of immunity is going to be artificial, acquired, active immunity. Now, artificial because the vaccine had human influence, acquired, you got it from somewhere outside, and of course, active, the antibodies to those antigen will be developed inside of the individual. The individual is given a killed version or a dead version or a weakened form of the disease organism. In this case, in the COVID vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine. Now, what this does is to trigger an immune response. So, produce antibodies that will, of course, be fighting those antigen. And, of course, the antibody to the antigen here, we're talking about the disease. And this, of course, would have offered protection against possible infection in the future. It was observed that the highest incidence of death due to COVID-19 infections occurred 
in individuals with non-communicable diseases, of which we have about four groups, cancer, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and cardiovascular disease. Our task, identify two NCDs that may have increased the incidence of death in those individuals infected with the COVID-19 virus. I chose chronic respiratory disease and cardiovascular disease. Now we are going to be having chronic respiratory disease such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma, both of which are affecting the respiratory tract. And of course, COVID would be doing something pretty much the same. So if your system is already weakened, then COVID would pretty much be one of those opportunistic diseases that would pretty much lead to death if not treated. Cardiovascular disease, uh, such as heart attack and stroke, you already have a compromised system. So that would make it easier for COVID to take its hold. As life becomes more hectic, together with an increase in income, there occurs a shift in certain behavior that impacts on one's health and productivity. Discuss two ways in which modern habits may negatively impact the social and physical well-being of individuals. So this is now asking for two ways. There are those persons who are driving very, 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 very fast. Crash, they lose limbs, become injured, and in some cases they have life-changing accidents. There are those persons who are drinking, damaging the liver. There are those persons who are smoking. But for this question, we looked at two, obesity and, of course, diabetes. Now, if we consume more food than is needed by the body, then some, of course, will be converted into fats and stored. Now, the food that we are consuming is usually fast food, which is high in fat and, of course, uh, this leads to individuals becoming, of course, overweight and eventually getting to that state of obesity. Now, the condition will cause a person to have difficulties breathing. They'll have pain in the back and the joint, and of course, difficulty to carry out physical exercise and an elevated blood pressure. Now, the back pain and the joint pain and the fatigue that come with this type of a thing will reduce the individual's mobility and eventually isolation from the social circles. So I can't bother to go down the road anymore because I'm too tired, I'm fatigued. So you are missing out on meeting with friends, going to work. You just can't function like you should because you're tired and the cardiovascular system is work overworking and that sort of a thing. And then you are losing out on what you should do at work. Now, group meetings will also suffer. You're just not able to carry out your regular routine, strenuous tasks, physical activities. You just can't do them because you are just not breathing well and your blood pressure is very high, so you're tired and all that. So you're losing out on a lot. Now, this, of course, could lead to loss of income and reduced standard of living as the person... Uh, probably lose their jobs. And of course, it's possible that the joint pain will even worsen and reduce the mobility further. And some of consumption of food high in sugar and saturated fat may also lead to diabetes which will result in the individual having blood deficient and fatigue over time. These, of course, will cause reduced mobility and, of course, will lead to social exclusion from work, common space, etc. And, of course, increase health care bill and reduce ability to carry out routine tasks. Now, this is coupled with, of course, Reduce standard of living 
and of course reduce mobility. In some cases, persons suffering from diabetes might end up losing a leg. They might have sore foot or sore feet, whichever. And this too will, of course, reduce their mobility. It might even cost them their job because if you're working in a food industry, nobody wants you there. Uh, compromise, uh, uh, should I say compromise a leg? That is as a result of COVID-19. It's all bandaged up and all that. Uh, Nobody is going to want to eat food at such a place. So you see, that would definitely. I want you to check out my video on immunity. When you get to my YouTube channel, just type in immunity. And I want you to watch my video that is well explained on immunity. So you'll have a better grasp of immunity for your exam. If you've not yet liked, share, or subscribed, it's definitely time for you to do so. Remember to click that notification bell that you'll be among the first to know whenever there is a new video. We also want you to tell us where you're watching this video from and tell us if you enjoyed the video. If you've not yet tried any of our books on Amazon, it's definitely time to do so. We have kid book, kids book for the younger folks we have lab books for the older folks and we have a new lab manual that will be on the market for september all of which will be able to be found on amazon the author's name is of course ricardos wilson until we next meet what good